So more excitement in the NBA bubble over the weekend, but nothing quite as special as Luka Doncic's epic triple-double and game winner. So Tanner, how many game winners have you hit in your NBA career? In my NBA career, <laughs> on 2K, one. <laughs> so Luka's 43 points, 17 rebounds, and 13 assists puts him alongside LeBron, Oscar Robertson, Jerry West, Charles Barkley, and Russell Westbrook as the only players in NBA playoff history with a 40-point triple-double. Very impressive. So before we start the conversation, we want to uh, introduce Christine Grippy, live from Santa Monica. Thanks for joining us. What's going on, you guys? Happy to be here. Yeah. yeah. Did you uh, did you watch that game last night? I didn't. didn't. I'm, I'm not too big in the NBA, but a triple double sounds pretty epic to me. A triple double, but he had how many? He had quite a few quarters to get it, right? Yeah. For, I mean, it's overtime as well. And one thing I wanted to point out, I think, if we compare this bubble season to the '99 shortened season. I really hope that people don't try and take away from whoever ends up winning the title. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't know if you guys remember that, but the Spurs, I'm a Spurs fan, yeah. we won in 99, and there's always this asterisk right by our title. And I think that's, I think that's BS person. Yeah. Whoever wins it, they, they have a full playoffs, they go through the whole thing, it's a, and they're gonna deserve, deserve that title. The FDA gave emergency approval on Sunday to further treat COVID patients with antibody-rich plasma. So if you've had COVID and recovered, your blood is very important, so donate if you are able. I don't know about you guys, I'm not a huge fan of needles. Um, have you guys given blood before? I've never given blood, that's kind of sad to say. Yeah. Never given blood. Christine? Yes, I have multiple multiple times. I honestly don't mind doing it because you lose a bunch of calories too, like 800 calories. <laughs> and it helps people along the way, so why not? All right, so fans got their first sneak peek of Robert Pattinson as the Batman for next year's re reboot of the franchise. Um, so who's your favorite superhero? Batman. Batman, yeah, yeah. I agree. This take on Gotham's villains will center around Catwoman, Penguin, and the Riddler like in the early stages of their criminal career. So super exciting. Uh, Christine, do you have a favorite superhero? Well, I mean, if Robert Pattinson's going to be in a Batman suit, I think he's going to be my new favorite superhero. <laughs> <laughs> Although everything at the White House may not be sunshines and daisies, the Rose Garden is. There was a three-week makeover of the White House's Rose Garden, and it's now complete. So, I know you're asking, what changed? There's now a three-foot-wide limestone path, pastel flowers, an improved drainage system, and improved accessibility for people with disabilities. There were also some crab apple trees that were removed. But all you crab apple tree fans can rest assured, they are being planted elsewhere on the grounds. The overhaul was completed to restore the look of the original 1962 design. I don't even know what a crab apple tree is. I don't know what a crab apple is. Is that, is that a first? <laughs> no idea, that's what I was gonna ask you guys. <laughs> So White House Counselor Kellyanne Conway will be stepping down at the end of this month. She was known for becoming the first female campaign manager to win a presidential race back in 2016. What caused the step down? Allegedly her family. Her 15-year-old daughter Claudia has been tweeting about how she disagrees with the family's political views. Even going as far as to tweet, quote, I'm officially pushing for emancipation, end quote. So buckle up because this is probably going to be public in one way or another. Welcome to my life. I mean, how rude. Yeah, a little rebellious. That's so sad. Yeah, what are you going to do? I mean... It's funny, you know, her husband mm -hmm. is a huge, uh, he does not like Trump, right? And yeah. so, yet she works for him. So I'm not really sure I get, I mean, she's a 15 year old girl. Well, she's going to she, be, yeah. she's going to be emotional or, or have a, a strong opinion. And that's hers to have. But I think, you know, what is she, she her father also doesn't approve yeah. of that. So I yeah. think there's a little bit of a. As a, as a daughter myself, I would want to agree to disagree with my mom. I mean, I'd be proud of her for stepping in and, and going public with it, but I, personally would never tweet something to downgrade my family, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like so. your mom's at work and she sees that you tweeted this yeah. and she like, she comes home. <laughs> like, what? Yeah. Was... You're, you're grounded, you're <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you're grounded. Yeah, there's always gonna be some family drama. So, do you guys remember that college admission scandal that happened a while back? Yes. After pleading not guilty, actress Lori Laughlin has decided to take a plea deal in the case and will be serving two months in prison paying a $150,000 fine and serving 150 hours of community service. Laughlin and her husband, Massimo Giannulli, were, were originally accused of paying $500,000 to falsely designate their two daughters as recruits to USC's crew team, even though they didn't participate in the sport. So apologies if I uh, butchered Lori Laughlin's husband's name, <laughs> yeah. uh, but everybody remembers Aunt Becky, so. The penalties, I don't know, is, is it harsh? What do you, I mean, what do you guys think? Not too bad, but I can't imagine her being in prison from full house to prison. <laughs> from full house to prison. That's going to be <laughs> Full like... house to the jailhouse. <laughs> yeah, like, ooh. Yes. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Thank you for joining Able Bits today. Thanks to Tanner. Thanks to Christine. Thank you, guys. I had so much fun. You two are amazing. And yeah, if you guys want to follow me, my Instagram is fit forever by Christine. I'm on 
online fitness coach. Nice. Give you some fitness tips, some weight loss tips. All right, guys, you heard it here. If you need some fitness tips, follow Christine, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.